A small black town is about to get big money. It's really going to change this whole area. A new Ford Motors plant is moving in, about to pump millions of dollars into Mason, Tennessee. But black town leaders say that white officials at the top do not want to see them win and are trying to take over before it happens. I'm Justin Carter. This is TSR Investigates. Seventy two percent of Mason, Tennessee's 1500 residents are black. And when Ford comes in in three years and builds a five point six billion dollar electric car facility, it is slated to bring thousands of jobs to the area. But black leaders in this town say that top state officials are trying to swoop in before that happens and take away the town's financial independence. And they believe race has a lot to do with this. Businesses have left and homes and buildings are crumbling. Up until 2016, Mason, Tennessee was swimming in debt. When the black administration took over in 2016, the town already had uh, almost a million dollars stolen from the town uh, by the white leaders who were previously in that uh, leadership at that time. Like this man who was indicted back in 2016, accused of stealing more than $600,000 from the town. He was the public work superintendent. Also in late March, a Mason police officer was just indicted for falsifying timesheets and receiving $20,568.42 in wrongful compensation. Audits also showing embezzlement in Mason between 1995 and 2012, $900,000 illegally transferred out of the town's water and sewage funds into the general funds. We have down through the years have worked on that debt that was left in Mason and we have continued to pay for it. Virginia Rivers is the vice mayor and says that they got that debt down to about $248,000. They made it look to the public that the officials were not handling the business of the town, but that was not true. Rivers says that she was shocked when all residents in Mason got a letter back in March from the state comptroller, Jason Mumpower. It said in part, quote, for at least 20 years, the town government had been poorly managed. Audits have been late. Budgets have not been approved. Major infrastructure needs have been ignored and fraud had taken place. In my opinion, it's time for Mason to relinquish its charter. If we give the charter up, we are giving up everything like I, I write, uh, heritage, it. We giving all that up. The charter gives the town's elected officials power to make financial decisions. Without it, we don't have no say so as to what happened in our city. We don't have no say so about anything. We allege racism, we allege discrimination. Van Turner is an attorney and the president of the NAACP of Memphis. And the fact that you have this very conservative leadership essentially trying to get rid of this small black town so that, you know, the white leadership in Tipton County can avail itself of all the opportunities that will uh, come from the Blue Over Project. It's just discriminatory on its face. Turner says that this is a ploy to take away the rights of black people who live in Mason. He says Tennessee's white Republican leaders, including Mumpower, know that Ford Motors is coming to the area and waited until now to say something about Mason's finances. And, and now you have the opportunity for uh, these African-American men and women to have good paying jobs that could change their lives and their families forever. I just think that uh, some of the conservative guys uh, living in the past here in West Tennessee didn't, didn't want to see that occur. The Shade Room reached out to Jason Mumpower for a comment. His office declined an interview citing pending litigation, but here's what he told a reporter from the Tennessee Holler. Why suddenly are you taking an interest in Mason? Because if Mason doesn't get their finances in order, the opportunity for development is going to bypass them. The opportunity for development. So the opportunity development for situation. the opportunity for neighborhoods to develop. You know, Mason doesn't have a grocery store or a gas station. And the citizens suffer from from not having the ability to to have those things in their community. When you see those interviews out there, what's your response to that? Well, first of all, that was not his intent ever to really help us because he came in with a demand. His demand was, and I quote, you give up your charter or we would take over the finances. And that way he could take over all the money that's coming down the line 
and everything that's going to happen here in Mason, he would have had control of it. The town still has their charter, but Mumpower now has Mason under financial supervision. Almost every tax dollar spent in Mason right now has to be approved. And we couldn't apply for grants without their permission. We couldn't pay a bill that was over a hundred dollars without their permission. He knew we stood to prosper. We stood to grow and that there was a lot of money coming in. In early April, the NAACP helped file a lawsuit alleging Mump Power exceeded his authority and is not allowed to have day-to-day -day supervision over a local government's finances. The lawsuit also claims discrimination against people in Mason and that, quote, dissolution of the town charter would ensure that the predominantly white county and not Mason or its predominantly black residents would profit from the Ford plant. They also filed an emergency petition asking a judge to intervene, but was denied on April 14th. Judge Ann Martin said, quote, the court must take into account the state's interest in moving the town towards financial stability and a balanced budget. Even though they still will be governing our finances, at least we still who we are. We still incorporated, we still have our charter, and we can still progress if they just let us alone and let us handle our business. The Tennessee Comptroller's Office has only taken over a town's finances three other times, and all of those times, they were in white towns in Tennessee. Now, the NAACP says those towns were in a worse financial situation than Mason, and they were never forced to give up their charter. Meanwhile, we're told that legal negotiations are happening this week, but no matter what, town leaders say they are not going anywhere. For TSR Investigates, I'm Justin Carter. Hello roommates and thank you for watching our YouTube channel. Do you want more TSR Investigates? Be sure to subscribe and check us out at theshaderoom.com.